With the release of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, I thought it would be fun to take a look at my 60 plus Spider-Man Funko Pop collection. And if I'm gonna be honest with you, I kind of forgot I had a couple of these and it's almost gonna be like we're looking at the Funko Pop Spider-Verse. And of course we have to start with the ones from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, the newest ones I have in my collection. Starting with Miles Morales or Spider-Man of course, then we have Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man 2099, Spider-Woman, Spider-Bite, Spider-Man India, and Spider-Punk. And now I know I've talked about this before on the channel, but I think my favorite ones out of these here are Spider Punk, Spider Bite, and then Spider Gwen's looking pretty clean too. But of course I do really enjoy the Spider-Man one, and I also have the Miles Morales. I just feel like this one doesn't really fit because it's him, not Spider-Man, you know? Now keeping it with the animated movies, I have two of them from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and surprisingly I don't have any more than this. But the two that I do have are some pretty nice ones. We have the Miles Morales, which was exclusive to Foot Locker, where he's translucent at the bottom, as well as Spider- Spider Ham, one of my favorite ones, and his hands wet because he washed it, no other reason. And it's kind of funny because taking a look on the back of the box here, I wish I had Spider-Man Noir, and maybe they'll be making one for the next movie coming out, but for now, these are the only two I have, and take a look at the back. Now we've got some Tom Holland Spider-Man, and almost every single one of these are from different films. Because over here we have the Endgame version of Iron Spider, then we also have the Chrome version of Iron Spider 2, but this one here is from Infinity War, and then after that we've got this one here, which is I believe just a normal Spider-Man, oh no, it's him in his upgraded suit. And what's kind of cool about this one is that he is hanging on to the wall there, which I really enjoy. Then we have two different versions of the homemade suit from Spider-Man Homecoming, and they are some really great ones. We've got the unmasked version, as well as the one of him with those funny looking goggles. And I honestly think both of them look great. And now everybody, let's take a look at No Way Home, one of the biggest collections I have besides the comic book ones, which we will get to in a second. But first, let's start with these ones over here, where we have Spider-Man, Spider-Man, and Spider-Man. It would be the amazing Spider-Man, as well as just Spider-Man in general, as well as the friendly neighborhood version. Now these next ones here are a little bit tough because most of them are just called Spider-Man, but we have Spider-Man as well as Spider-Man integrated suit, then we have Spider-Man upgraded suit, and what I like about this one is that he's floating in the air, and then the last three that we have here are all black and gold suits, and there's actually some interesting stuff going on here because there's this one, of course, where he's kind of like crouched down, but then we also have the masked version, which is, no, the unmasked version is the chase, then the masked version is the normal one. The unmasked version also glows in the dark and they're both exclusive to triple a anime which is kind of just like a distributor for pops they mainly do anime ones hence the name but they also do some fun stuff like this now let's get into the spider-man they don't really have a set or they do it's just very few of them and i guess we'll start over here with the patina spider-man it's kind of just supposed to look weathered almost like a statue then we also have two versions of the original spider-man suit these ones go with the amazing fantasy spider-man and if you look on the back side actually i can show you guys they show it is the first appearance version, which I think is a pretty neat addition to the figure, showing you the comic book that they go with. Then we've got the Web Spider-Man, which is the ride that you can actually go to in Disney World as well as Disneyland. Then we've got the Venomized Spider-Man as well as the Poison Spider-Man, and after that we've got the Zombie Hunter Spidey from What If? And then the two on the end here are Christmas ones, the Gingerbread Spider-Man as well as him wearing a Christmas sweater. And I think the Gingerbread Spider-Man is one of my favorites out of all of them because it does look like he's jumping in the air and I feel like this would be perfect for something like Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I don't know, it just makes sense for him to be chasing after Miles, you know? Then we're getting into the video game pops where we have both of them, Spider-Man as well as Spider-Man Miles Morales. And now this kind of looks like a normal Miles Morales suit, but when he spins around, you'll notice it's actually the Bodega Cat version, which I think is a really cool addition to the pop, especially because it's the only way you can get Spider-Cat. Then we have the Chase Miles, where he's unmasked, as well as the masked version, the Purple Rain Spider-Man, which has a really cool metallic suit. And we also have this one here, which I'm gonna be honest, I kind of forget the name on Winter Suit. Oh, it's that easy. I thought it was like some other name, but anyways, he's hanging upside down on almost like a lamppost. It's really interesting. Then the last one we've got for Miles Morales, is just the normal suit you get in the game. And now let's get into the Spider-Man game where I have kind of the most interesting from this set. And we have the original Spider-Punk as well as, is this one Spider-Man? Oh, it just says Spider-Man. I thought it was like noir or something or almost like an inverted version of him. But either way, a really cool pop. 
And then at the very end, we have Spirit Spider, which is probably the craziest out of all of them because his head is literally on fire. And now the last set that I have here, the comic book versions, I'm gonna have to do in two parts. So with this first bunch here, we have some really interesting ones, like the first ever Spider-Man Funko Pop. It's a pretty classic one. and also is that kind of like stereotypical Funko Pop look. I enjoy it. Then we have Cyborg Spider-Man, Pi Day Spider-Man, Japanese TV series, as well as Iron Spider Mark III. Then we have Six Arm Spider-Man, as well as Spider- Spider-Man versus Spider-Man, which also happens in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And now here is the rest of them. And I'm gonna have to kind of look at the boxes as we go here because of the amount that we have on the table, but we've got both versions of the gamer Miles Morales. This doesn't go with the game. It was just from a mystery box that they did where you could get a chase and common where one is unmasked and the other one isn't. Then we've got the Scarlet Spider. And no, it's not the one from the new movie. It is actually the comic book version, but honestly, one of my favorites from my set. And then we've got an unmasked version of Gwen as well as a wood deco Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know why they made that one either, but there was also a Groot and Captain America. Some pretty interesting stuff there. Then we have the Octo Spidey as well as Doppelganger Spider-Man and the Spider-Man 2099, which isn't the first one they ever created, but kind of like an in-between from 2021. And I believe there was also one that came out in like 2018 or 2019, sometime around then. And then as we get over to the end over here, we have the Boombastic Bagman as well as the Spider-Man for Make-A-Wish, Spider-Man in Spider-Buggy or Peter Parked Car. And then the Spider-Man Spider-Man stealth suit, which is a glow in the dark. And I also have one more here with me. It is the Miles Morales comic cover. It was too big to fit on the table. And well, everybody, there we go. That is all of the Spider-Verse Funko Pops that I have for today. And let me know in the comment section below, which one was your favorite? Because for me, it's either going to be the Spider-Man and Spider-Buggy or that Scarlet Spider. I really enjoy those two. Oh, but then again, I am also really enjoying the Pi Day Spider-Man and the Bodega Cat Suit. I don't know. There's so many great ones. And anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and I'll see you tomorrow.